I've been able to, to write the ruling in this matter. It is ready. However, it is so intertwined with the other one in the sense that even if we give this ruling, for example, and either retained or even dismissed the interim orders, we would still be tied by what is in the other file. I thought for a moment when we were here on Monday that uh, the rulings would take the same bearing. But I have come to, to realize as I was going through the other matter that it is raising probably substantially very different matters from uh, all the issues than what is here. But thank God the preliminary objection is towards the same direction and is about jurisdiction. So probably with retro tweaking, it would still fit into this. However, the ruling that I'm talking about in E16 ran into almost 50 pages. <laughs> There's nothing else I did yesterday other than that ruling, and it ran up to almost 50 pages. So you can imagine this morning, I've now started again looking at it so that it can see how far it can address the issues that are in E17. I'm still in the process of doing that. Uh, I have not finished, but I would want to have the two rulings delivered the same day so that we can be able to move forward. Either uh, there is an interim orders are uh, confirmed or, or retained or dismissed or whatever it is, then we can be able to move in the same direction. So uh, I'm asking for your indulgence this morning. I apologize and hoping that uh, we can be able to deliver this on Tuesday morning, the first thing in the morning, we assemble here. Do we have any other matter, Jemrick? Remind me. Yeah, so that we can be able to assemble here on Tuesday at 9, at 9, so that we have the two rulings delivered almost simultaneously, one after the other, and therefore we can be able to take, uh, to take a, a proper course in the two matters. Uh, I do apologize, but I think uh, it's not asking for too much for just two days, that is uh, tomorrow, Friday, and Monday, so that we can have the two rulings on, uh, on Tuesday. I think uh, to, it's, it would serve better purpose if we were to take all the time, write proper and well-reasoned uh, rulings, uh, so that uh, even if the dissatisfied party decides to go on appeal, we would say that we have discharged our duty from day Z. I know these two matters have solicited a lot of interest, both uh, from the media, from public, from citizens of this county, and it will have a bearing in so many other of these matters spreading across the country concerning uh, the appointments of CEs. Now we have CEOs like this one, so it will have a bearing. So bear with me for now. Uh, I know uh, since we have done um, E16, E17 gonna be ready as well for delivery on Tuesday morning at 9, we assemble here. So the interim orders are extended to Tuesday, 29th November, 2022. Uh, we are hoping and believe that uh, we shall get a solution by that date as far as the POs are concerned, which are very well, by the way, I've seen very good submissions on the, on the law, so it, I think it's an opportunity probably to set straight the jurisprudence on these processes of recruitment, interviewing, shortlisting, uh, vetting, nominating, appointing. Are they relationships that create employment and labor relations and therefore are they within the jurisdiction of this court? I think that is the issue. And there are so many matters across the country, particularly now with the new county government. Uh, probably is an opportunity to set uh, jurisprudence so that if we try it here and uh, the matter goes to the Court of Appeal, probably the better, so that once and for all we can settle that and move on. I didn't know, and I, I, I've come to learn, 10 years in the lifetime of a court is a very short time. Probably you understand why now lawyers still quote cases of 1700. It takes a lot of time to settle jurisprudence. It takes a lot of time. This court is still very, very young. 10 years, a very short time, and therefore there are so many of these issues that are not yet settled. Maybe we see this opportunity like this one, 
set the jurisprudence so that it can go all the way to the Supreme Court and have a proper uh, settlement of the issues. We are hoping, I'm hoping that we will be able to deliver a ruling that settles the matter once and for all. So Mr. Kahiga, if you see this uh, gray hair now coming out, even the beards every day, now you understand why. <laughs> <laughs> you understand why. Okay, let's mention the other matter. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Kibet Alan. Uh, I'm an advocate of the High Court of Kenya, uh, based here in Nakuru. With me here is uh, my client, uh, one Stephen Odwar. He is a petitioner in a case that we filed here in Nakuru. That is petition number 16 of 2022. This is a petition that challenges the nomination by the governor of Nakuru of some of the CEOs to the positions in the county government of Nakuru. The main claim by the petitioner here is that some of the nominees to the positions of the county uh, uh, officers of Nakuru were designated. The second issue that the petitioner here has issue with is that persons with disability were never considered despite the fact that several of them applied and they scored very highly. So we, he filed a petition here on the 11th of November 2022 claiming among other reasons and other issues and illegalities by the governor and the persons in charge of recruitment of these persons to the position of the county chief officers. Today we were in court for purposes of taking a ruling in regards to questions of jurisdiction that the, uh, the respondents had raised. However, the ruling was not re uh, ready. The court deferred the ruling to the 29th of uh, November 2022, where both petitions, that is petition number 16 of 2022 and petition number 17 of 2022, will be delivered together. From there, we can decide whether we are in agreement with the decision of the court in respect to jurisdiction or not. Whether we, when, if we are in agreement, we will let the matter rest and proceed from where the court has directed us. And if we are not in agreement, we may pursue an appeal on the same, so that the issue of jurisdiction in respect to such issues are dealt with once and for all by the Court of Appeal. Thank you.